Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I thought we would do a fun hygiene shop with me. You guys know I've been gone for about a week or so. I went to I went on a Disney cruise and a little bit of a Disney vacation. So I've been gone for a while and I feel like brands have been releasing stuff left and right, especially for body care. And I know Walmart has a ton of new stuff, which I was shocked because I literally just filmed a Walmart shop with me, but they have even more body care that I'm just so excited to find. So we are gonna go on the hunt today and see what we can find There's also a new tree hut scrub coming out and Victoria's Secret has some new stuff So there's a lot of stuff. I am looking for I'm actually still in my PJs for the day perks of working from home I always wear loungewear and today's video is actually sponsored by Equar, which is a loungewear company on Amazon They sent me a few of their pajama sets to try out and let you guys know how I like them and I'm actually very impressed so far I will say Amazon they burned me a little bit I bought a bunch of stuff for my cruise uh, I don't buy clothes on there a ton and I honestly did not like anything I feel like none of it really fit me um, so I was a little skeptical about trying these but I'm really happy with the quality and the sizing of the products from this brand they seem really really good I just struggle being in between sizes I'm usually a large extra large and I feel like a lot of Amazon brands run really small this one runs true to size so let me start with my favorite set here it's this little thermal set with long sleeves I love this taupe color it has a waffle knit material this does come with the top and bottom so you do need to buy them in one size so I got the X L because usually I'm bigger on top usually on top I need an XL on bottom I need like a large but I feel like these fit pretty pretty good they have a stretchy waistband for the shorts even this shirt you can definitely wear it with jeans so it doesn't just have to be a pajama top but oh my gosh the material is so soft I would say all their stuff runs true to size but if you want a more oversized fit then size up Okay guys, next I have this cute little gray star set. This is adorable. Let me show you full body matching top and jogger pants. I went with the medium and I think I could honestly use the large, but honestly the top is just a little bit more fitted and then the pants, which are also medium, fit pretty much perfect. So the large pants might be just a little bit too big, but that's just how my sizing is. I always struggle with like the one size sets. I would say this is a very true to size fit I will say the arms on this are a little bit short um, I find with this brand if you are very tall if you have long arms you're probably gonna want to pass on the long sleeve tops I'm also five foot two and the pants are pretty much perfect on me just very comfy I could lounge in this even with this being a little tight um, it's mostly tight right here I still feel like it's very comfy. Next we have another set. This is an adorable little satin set here. Again, these did both come together. Typically I would like a bigger size on top and a smaller size on bottom. These do fit pretty well though. I would say I'm actually really surprised that the top fits because usually with Amazon stuff I always have trouble. I feel like a lot of their stuff runs really small but this is very true to size and this being a satin top I feel like it actually fits really good even if you have a larger chest. This is the XL and XL shorts. These are kind of fun and flouncy. They are just a little bit cheeky, but overall they're just really cute. And this is again super comfy. I love the light pink satin on this one. Also wanted to mention the straps are adjustable. I do have a bra on right now, but it is a cross back and you can adjust the straps, which is amazing. So again, I will have all these items linked down below for you guys if you want to check them out. I'm super impressed with them compared to my terrible Amazon clothing experience earlier. It's always so hard, but I'm like, it's so nice having Amazon because everything comes super fast. Plus, I feel like the prices are amazing. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys try them out, I highly recommend them. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to shopping. So first, let's head to Walmart. So we did find what we're looking for. It's kind of a disaster though, <laughs> but pretty much this whole section is mostly all new stuff. But I first of all really wanted to get my hands on the new TPH Mist because I'm obsessed with their body care products. As you can see, a lot of it is sold out right now because it is really good stuff. But yeah, they have new fragrance mists in their popular scents mandarin and ginger the you better glow 
This one is my personal favorite, the Indulge Me, which is vanilla and tuberose. I have this in the body cream, I love it. But I also really like their mandarin and ginger scent too. And then they also have the bergamot and orange. And this is the Ylang Ylang and Palo Santo. So those are all new fragrance myths. And then I think these might be new too. I could be wrong there. The Calm Down Hydrating Body Lotion that they have. And just a couple of their scents. This is the Ylang Ylang and Palo Santo. And then they also have it in the uh, Mandarin and Ginger as well. And then also we have new body care from Heritage by Mindy McKnight. They sent me over some of their hair stuff that they do sell at Walmart, but now they have body care coming out as well, which is exciting. So let's have some lotions coming out and body washes, but right now they do have the body creams. There is a couple scents in their whipped body cream. This is Peony in Cypress. And then they have another one. I'm not seeing it though. Oh, here it is. It's in the back. You have to kind of look because they have very similar packaging. I almost bought two of these on accident. But this is my favorite one, the Cherry and Amber. Going just off the candle, it kind of seems like this would go really good with like a Lost Cherry kind of vibe. So good. So I can't wait to try that one. And then they also have a body scrub in a couple different scents as well. The Mint and Yuzu. And there's a cedar wood and neroli body scrub. All the stuff is about $10. And then they also have a candle in a cherry and amber. And I think it's also supposed to come in the cedar. And there is a little bath bomb set as well that they're out of right now. But yeah, there is more coming in here. I went over Frank Body in my last Walmart video. So check that out for more info on that. And then Skin Proud. If you guys remember, this brand is really affordable skincare. Also has new lines of hair care and body care. So this is Body Proud. And in the line, they have this cute little duck, but it's like a brush. So this is a scalp or body brush, which is really cute. They have their Bright Boost Body Cleanser. This one has exotic lotus and seaweed, I guess, in it. I'm not sure what the scent is really supposed to be, but it's just Bright Boost body cleanser to refresh, energize, and exfoliate. They also have a dry body oil, which I'm curious about. This says it's a sweet almond oil, which you guys know I love almond. So I do want to check this one out. It's $11.98. And then this one is a body mask. It's called Sleep Hero Overnight Recovery Body Mask as well with retinol and hyaluronic acid. Something kind of fun and different. And then another cleanser they have is the Thirst Quencher Body Moisturizer as well with sparkling pear and bamboo water. So that's all the new stuff. I think they also have a serum coming out as well. So they're just kind of, their stock is all over the place. I did go over the new Body Ecology in my last video, so check that one out as well. I'll link it down below. The brand Native also has a new sunscreen here which is cool. So they actually have a scented one which is interesting. Usually I prefer mine unscented but this is a, I guess maybe for the body. It's their Sweet Peach and Nectar SPF 30. There is more scents I'll show you guys here with Zinc Oxide. This is $19.97. They also have coconut and pineapple. This one is rosé and they do have an unscented as well. So really cool to find that here from Native. They also recently got in the brand Peach Slices, which is actually owned by the same company as Peach and Lily. So probably very similar formulas. They have a really popular snail line that's now here at Walmart. I think Ulta sells it as well with their moisturizer, toner, they have a jelly mask, and of course acne dots too. And then this is new Skin by Conair. Some more facial devices. They have a like face roller kit. There is the microderm tool, the sonic facial brush. There's a couple different ones. This is a cryotherapy brush which is like a rubber bristles. And then these are reusable gel masks. So very fancy, I feel like, for Walmart. I feel like they're always kind of stepping up. These are even more expensive, um, up to $100, um, $59. But yeah, that's basically what's new. Just a lot of skincare stuff and body care. Okay, so these are new from Body Ecology as well. They actually came out with, it looks like, candles and body scrubs. I'm pretty sure they didn't have these before. So these are $4.97, a little bit cheaper than Tree Hut. They have it in the watermelon, the peach sunrise, and the new Hawaiian beach also has one, which is exciting. So I'm really curious to try these out. And then I don't remember if I did film these last time, the body lotions from Heritage. I did film the body creams and the body washes. I don't think I did, but they do have matching lotions and body washes. 
in the cherry and amber for the body wash peony and cypress and cedarwood and neroli and then in the lotions it has the mint and yuzu and cedarwood and neroli so basically they have lotions and a couple scents and then the ones that don't have lotion have the body cream okay guys so done at walmart they had so much stuff oh my gosh i can't believe how much new body care like all these brands are coming out with body care is really having its moment i would say in the past couple years it's gotten so popular but i love finding a lot of affordable body care at walmart and it seems like there's going to be some really good stuff coming out now i have been seeing some sneak peeks Treha is actually celebrating their birthday and they're coming out with the birthday cake scrub and body butter i've seen it on my instagram i follow a couple like self-care Facebook pages and people have been posting them at Target so sometimes I get lucky and find stuff at my Target early I heard it's not coming out to the 17th I've also heard the 7th I've heard so many different things so it's very early for it to be showing up but I don't know if they're supposed to keep them in the back or what but I usually have good luck at this Target so I'm gonna stop here and see if we can find it you guys I got them oh my gosh I did not film in there because they weren't actually out out. They actually, my Target always has these stock, stocking carts where they have all the new stuff. They were still wrapped in plastic, but they let me go ahead and take them. Um, so they weren't actually on the shelf, but they were putting them out. I don't know if they were gonna put them out on the floor today. So I didn't really get to like show you guys the display or anything like that, but I snatched them up. They had six total of the scrubs and only three body butters. So I don't know if they're still getting some in, but I am just beyond excited about this scent, you guys. Oh my gosh. So this is the scrub birthday cake cake have some cake sugar scrub so cute it even has little fun fetty confettis in it it's so pretty and it smells so good you guys i'm not i like birthday cake scents but not always all the time i like them in the shower but not for a lotion but this one actually has more of a fruity cake scent to it, it almost reminds me of a fun fetty or it reminds me of kind of like a fruit loops cake i don't know it's really good though like sometimes tree hut stuff doesn't smell exactly like what you would think so it's not exactly a true birthday cake, but it smells so good. Like this might be one of my top favorite scents they've done. I am just beyond over the moon. I actually got two of the scrubs and then just one body butter just because their body butters for me are not very strong. They're pretty light, but they feel really good. Um, but yeah. I put this on the scent throws pretty light but smells so good so it says feel smooth in your birthday suit so i got that too uh yeah i just kind of took a chance on checking the store today and they had it which is nuts so lots of amazing body care out right now wow 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 you guys know i try to keep up with everything but there's so much good stuff out right now next stop here i'm at uh the salon store salon centric that we have here in iowa i still have my cosmo license so i get half off some hair products and i saw that k18 released a new hair oil that i'm really curious and trying i'm really trying to get onto their stuff because i did recently chop my hair um just to make it all one length and i am trying to grow it out again so um i'm gonna probably pick up a full size of their mask it's very expensive so that's why i'm gonna get the 50 percent off here so yeah i hope they do have the oil here let's head inside and check it out all right they have just a small section but i think i'm gonna pick up the mask full size and then they also do have the oil okay i know you guys always like to see what i bought so i figured i would share with you i do have a pretty large hygiene haul coming up like i bought other stuff um from victoria's secret some stuff on amazon and some stuff in pr so <laughs> i have more to show you but um, I know you guys were going to ask me about these Walmart finds, so I figured I would share with you now. The tree hut I already went over, so we could skip that. But from what I bought at Walmart, I ended up buying the new TPH Mist. I just got two of them because I don't love all of their scents, but my favorite is the Indulge Me. I have their Vanilla and Tuberose Body Cream, which is amazing, but I, I really enjoy their products. And these mists are so good, too. They smell exactly like the body care. This is so good. It's like um, a powdery vanilla almost with a little bit of a slight citrus note. It's really pretty and I enjoy it a lot. So I did get the Indulge Me Mist. These are available online if you guys want to order them. Sometimes that's easier because a lot of people in stores will open everything and spray them. So I will link them for you. And I also really love the You Better Glow, which is Mandarin and Ginger. I feel like this one's probably not for everyone. The ginger you can definitely smell in here, but it's so pretty. It almost reminds me of like a zesty, orangey, citrus ginger frosting. 
It's so good. I have the body oil in this scent as well. I think they're shower gel too. Love it so much. And then I bought some stuff from the Heritage New Body Care. So I picked up the body scrub. I don't know if I'm going to like this scent. We'll see. This is the Cedarwood and Neroli. They did not have the cherry one in a scrub. Otherwise, I would have bought that. Oh, that's actually really good. Okay, I didn't smell this one beforehand because there wasn't really any testers or anything, but this is going to go really well with my Salt to Air Seascape body wash that I have in my shower right now. It smells very unisex, cologne-like, but very fresh and watery, like ocean vibes. Not tropical, though. It smells really good, so I'm excited to try this formula. And then I also picked up the Whipped Body Cream in the Cherry and Amber. This is my favorite of the scents. This is going to go so well with the Kayali, I think it's called Love Fest Burning Cherry Perfume. It's kind of like a smoked cherry. I don't know. It smells really good. I really wish it was stronger though because the body cream, I find it to be a little bit more faint, but it still smells amazing. And I think paired together, they're going to be such a good combination. Also got that in the creamy body wash too because I really love the scent. This seems like a really nice body wash. I did use this one the other day. I don't think I filmed these, but these are also new from Tree Hut. These are the watermelon bath soaks that we recently got our big bathtub upstairs working. Um, we're working on remodeling that room, but we can take baths now, which is fun. So I've been buying a lot of stuff for it. And so yeah, I got this bath soak from them. It has kiwi and avocado oils plus shea butter. I don't think Tree Hut has had bath salts before, so I'm really excited about this. And then I also picked up this dry body oil from Body Proud from Skin Proud. Um, because it had an almond oil in it. So I really wanted to try this one out. It seems more of a citrusy scent. Let's see here. So it comes out in a spray bottle. I do like a good body oil, but let's see. I didn't try it, obviously, before. I just kind of grabbed it. It does sink into the skin. Sometimes I don't always like dry oils because they almost seem like more greasy feeling, and this feels really greasy. I'm going to have to try that a bit more. But that is pretty much everything that I picked up for new body care. I just can't believe how much stuff is out right now. I will have all this stuff linked for you. I think it's all available on Walmart's website. I was able to look it up, but I'm really mostly excited for the TPH Mist, the new Tree Hut stuff, and these Heritage body creams, especially the Cherry and Amber, I feel like is a must-have. You guys know I'm always going to keep you up to date on all the newness. There's always new stuff, especially with body care having its moment lately. There's just a lot coming out out but thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys pick any of these things up and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>